and basically argue with other Wendy fans about Wendy. Hi guys and welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday Wigan Athletic Review. Now we got the win against Luton in midweek which is great. It was a crappy win. But I don't personally think we deserved the win. Luton deserves it but we're through to the next round of the cup. That's what matters against Chelsea but let's concentrate on the league today. Now Wigan have not had a great away record this season at all so we're going to have to watch how they play because it's one of those things with how we've played at times those kind of records become broken under us. It's one of those things like, if you haven't won away all season, come to Wednesday, you'll win it. Uh, so we need to do that. Now, this will be Steve Agnew and Steve Clement's last game in charge league-wise before uh, Bruce comes in. Bruce is in on the second and we play Ipswich on that day. So that'll be Bruce's first game. We have got to play well today because we could end up having a situation like I just said where it's a team that hasn't played well against away from home and then they suddenly do. Now the team news is the same as the team that played against Hull. It's Westwood, Palmer, Fox, Fletcher, Bannon, Lees, Matthias, Reach, Boyd, Hutchinson and Hector. Subs are Dawson, Baker, Thornley, Jones, Winnell, Newhew and Zhao. Great to have Zhao and Hutchinson back. Zhao will be good to have to come on, hopefully, in the second half. Along with uh, Winnell, I kind of hope. I really want to see Winnell get some more game time because I understand why we're not risking him as much just because of how long he was out injured. You don't want to have the injury reoccur again. And I get it in the football sense, but if one of those things, he is a player that could change game for us, which would be fantastic. But let's see what we do. Let's go out there and have attacking football and not have what we happened against Hull with this team that we had last time. But let's also remember when we played Hull, Hull our team who was on an incredible form at the minute and it was just a bad time for us to play them. So let's see if we can get three points today at home. I apologise for the noise in the background. That is Neto doing some work, but leave it there. Right, so in this game so far, we have done okay. No real clear-cut chances for us, though, and we really could do with doing that. And if we could get some clear-cut chances, then it will be perfect. But we've had a couple of volleys and two penalty appeal shouts. Uh, one wasn't really one because it was a fantastic tackle by the Wigan player. But in this game, we have looked okay, but not brilliant. The biggest problem for me has been the uh, obvious plan that we're playing. They play the ball up to uh, Fletcher and then flick it on. Now, the thing I've had, there hasn't been no one around to win the flick-ons from Fletcher flick-ons. If someone like a Winnell or a Jow could be winning that, that'd be fantastic. Reach hasn't been that good this game. He's been a bit anonymous, not been brilliant. Hector's had a bit of a run-in with a lot of the Wigan players. The Wigan players have been quite uh, foul-happy and the ref have let a lot go. When they eventually did get a yellow card, it was for a tackle that wasn't really that bad. But they did have a chance right near the end from a corner. Uh, header just went wide and that came close. And Westwoods have one shot to save from Windassa. But that's been about it. It's been a good game. We played okay. But we could do with doing better than what we're doing now. But at the moment, it is nil-nil. If we can improve in the second half, that would be fantastic and get the win because Wigan hasn't won or away most of this season. I can't remember what, what it is. I think I'll look the stat up for the second half. I can't remember. But we need to do better. We need to do better. We need to get someone tight to Fletcher because Fletcher has been superb at this half. He has been winning all the balls and the only one that looks like having a proper chance of scoring. So if we can get someone around him to win the flick-ons, that'd be fantastic. I really would love to see Winnell or Zhao or both on in the second half. Just for that speed and determination, they're both willing players who will get at players. Uh, and that's what we haven't got at the minute. So at the moment it is Sheffield Wednesday nil, we're going to let it now. Well, that second half was so much better than the first. We absolutely battered them in the second half. Really did. Their keeper kept them in this game. We win 1-0 thanks to Stephen Fletcher 
uh, absolute thunder chuffer. It was superb goal. It really was. It's another one from outside the box again. Seems to be all we can go this year. Uh, it was a lovely goal though. In we could have had more, but their keeper, like I said, dug dug out and helped them a lot. Matthias went off and Zhao came on. New Hugh came on for Fletcher. And annoyingly, Winnell didn't get a run in again. I'm getting a bit miffed by this because I really want to see him coming on and making an impact because we know we can. And we had this situation last time when we had him before he went on loan to Derby. It's like, this is the man we were missing to do certain things. He's just not getting the chances at the minute. Uh, but it was a great win. It's good to get us there. I think we're in 16th place now. Thankfully, the curse of being us didn't happen where something's not won in a long time away and they come to us and win. Thank God that didn't happen. Great game. The referee had some questionable decisions. Uh, actually, the amount of added time at the end of the game was a bit mental because there were five in the first half and six in the second. Which is mental when you think about it, considering there wasn't much there at all. It was nice to see Hook get a full 90 minutes as well, but I really want to see Winnell get some game time now because he deserves it. Um, it. We know what he can do in this league. He is very... Before we got him from Barnsley, he was scoring goals left, right, didn't he? He was up there being one of the top goals of the league. And we now need to try and get that back. And... We really need to play better to our strength and we're doing that slowly but surely. But this is the last game in charge for the two assistants. The next one will be with the Bruce. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Hopefully we might have some news on transfer by then. Well, next game is going to be Chelsea in the Cup on Sunday. It's a TV game. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens and this was a great win for the day. Fletcher, man of the map 100%, absolute work these socks off. If we're going to play that kind of football though, he needs someone like Zhao or Winnell at the side of him. Even Fortier, because that's something else we've got to think now. We've got to fit Fortier coming back soon and we've got to try and fit him into the squad, which is going to be so interesting to see what we do now. We looked a lot better when we went 4-4-2 as well, so that's another good thing. But it's a win, it's three points. So we'll move on to the next game, which will be the FA Cup game. Don't forget to go to outtalk.co.uk after this video.